Well, who do you think are the most stressed out people in the United States? Well, a new study says American teenagers are feeling the most pressure, even more than adults. And nearly half of them de-stress by playing video games. But is this really the best tactic, and is there a better alternative? Elvie Richter is the author of Fire Blue. It's a novel targeted to young teens, and she joins us now. Good morning. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. So there was a study done by the American Psychological Association. They've started it. They started it back in 2007, and essentially what they found out, they focused this year on teens, and they found out that teens on a 1 to 10 point scale say that their stress level is 5.8 compared with adults 5.1. Is that unusual, do you think? Um, it's interesting because I was, and when I was researching Fire Blue, I spent a lot of time on social media and I ran across a, uh, a post that was written by a teenager and it said, it's scary how your whole life depends on how well you do as a teenager. And I remember I just sat back in my chair and I, I just thought about the weight of those heavy words. And if only they knew. That, you know, it really doesn't. It doesn't matter if you're popular in high school. You know? and, and teens are starting to rely on these sedentary activities to de-stress, not to get out there. We, we hear it as an adult, get out there and exercise because it really lowers your stress level. Go to the gym. Teens, though, sitting down and just grabbing their Xbox. That's true. Um, I mean, I, I, you know, like I said, I, I've spent a lot of time on social media and I would have to say that I, I, I feel that... Um, it's also a contributing factor. Um, you know, social media distorts reality. It's such a fairy tale. Nobody posts pictures of themselves, you know, selfies with spinach in their teeth. Right. So it would be really easy for a, a, a teen to get the idea that they're supposed to effortlessly grow up um, or be a perfect princess. And if they're not, that could be really stressful. I mean, well, we hear about these stories of, you know, the cyber bullying and, and, you know, young kids killing themselves because they can't take the pressure and the pain of seeing, you know, them be themselves being attacked by their, you know, their friends at school or I guess their frenemies at school and that type of thing. Um, what else did you find interesting about this study? Um, you know, I, I think it's interesting also how there's an expectation that teens are, are coping with stress. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, I, I, I wrote a book um, about this, so I'm in no means an expert, but in the research that I, I did in, in writing the book, um, I, I, I found it interesting that we expect teens to be able to cope with stress when it's really a mental skill. It takes a lot of practice. One of the encouraging things, when I was at a Barnes & Noble just uh, recently, or right around the Christmas time, and then even just a few weeks ago at my parents' house in Reading, Pennsylvania, we were there with the kids. There's so many teens gather around the teen novel section. And, you know, maybe the other areas of the store are kind of empty. It seems like teens are doing a lot more reading. So what was the inspiration for your novel and, and really helping young women? Well, actually, all of the things that we've just been, been talking about, really. Um, I, you know, being 14 and a girl, which is um, who I wrote the book for, it, it's really tough. You know, there's an expectation that we're all going to grow up and be perfect princesses all the time. And, and when a girl gets to the age when she realizes that she might be a little awkward or a little bit graceless or, or not be perfect, that's really hard. If only they knew that the... Geeks always peak later in life, but they, peak. they definitely do. All right, L.V. Richter, your book is called Fire Blue. Thanks very much for joining us. It's out uh, available now. Thank you. Thank Thanks you so much. much.